Good morning from the Kingdom of Kerry. Southwest Ireland, long drive, five hours from where I live. Scenery is beautiful. Weather looks a bit iffy for the coming days, but we're going to try and get some images and see how that goes. So as you can probably tell by behind me, the light is pretty flat. It's more, it's more hope. I'm making this track down along the, the coast here hoping something happens with the light but let's see fortune favors the brave as they say and all that as I often do when the light is pretty bland like this I've dropped the lee big stop with the tents up in just to make a bit of drama in the scene and wait a little longer for the light to drop it's about two hours from sunset so a bit of fun look for locations and we'll see how it goes that was hard work I barely remembered where I left the camera bag, but by God, I'm sweating. Hopefully, I think I got a nice picture. So we'll see how it looks later on. Right now, another location to check out. Absolutely shattered now, but that was fun. Up and down, cliff faces, nice waves, kind of moody skies. Confident they got one or two good pictures. But we'll see how that goes. But right now, time for dinner, a few beers, and hope the rain doesn't come in tomorrow. Sunrise had been cancelled in the morning, not because of the promised rain, but a bit of a session going down. So I'm going to enjoy a few beers, the music, sunrise can wait. Day two and as you can see it's pretty bland outside. Forecast with lots of rain so we're going to head to the woods and see what we can find in there. I'm not sure if you can hear that the rain is actually tipping down. I come into the woods looking for something what it is, I'm not totally sure. There's some nice colours. Browns, greens, some leaves turning autumnal. So let's see what we can make of it. But this kind of solitude is wonderful. One of the reasons why I love landscape photography. Just getting lost amongst the elements, looking for images. Whether we get any or not is another question. My biggest problem with woodlands and taking photographs is removing the chaos and the clutter to get a composition that works. So I've got the 7200 on and I'm picking out details. Do you hear that in the background? Deer calling. Magical. But getting back to what I'm doing, picking out details, contrast and colour working with wide apertures, trying to isolate those, trying to create composition that works. A challenge, but always fun. So as you can, as you can probably guess from my beautiful tire, rain is still tipping down. Wind is blowing through the trees. Kind of nice. Don't think I've got anything in here today, but it beats been stuck at the desk. We'll see how it goes. You never know, something may surprise me. I wasn't going to bother taking another picture, but then this tree behind me, with its twisted roots, moss, looks quite interesting, worth the capture. Still exploring the kingdom, checking out location for this evening. 
the moment, but the light is quite interesting, quite magical. Beautiful dappled light over the sea. So, we'll see how that goes. The views at the moment are simply, simply stunning. Look at this for a view. Above the village of Dune Quinn, looking over the Blasket Islands. Spectacular. I might come back here at sunset. This is really, really nice stuff. Waiting game continues. The sun nipped in behind the clouds. So I'm waiting for it to come back out. Illuminate the rocks up here and the hills behind me, which in theory should make for a nice image. The light should be quite dramatic, so when the sun hits those rocks, they'll light up beautifully. Really, really make the image. So fingers crossed that happens. So while I'm waiting. For the shot I set up and planned behind me, this is happening. I'm really wondering, should I switch my camera this way and see what happens, or see what I capture, or sit and wait for the composition that's behind me, which I've been waiting on for the last 15 or 20 minutes. 20 minutes later and I'm still waiting, although I think the sun just about to pop through any second now. Fingers crossed, this wait has been worth it. Sometimes it doesn't happen like that. Right here, the water's edge, rocky shoreline. The sun has gone down below the horizon, but the sea is really interesting. I'm just playing with different exposures, trying to capture different moves and swishing the water. The view is stunning.